Power Pivot KPIs are fairly easy to set up, but your data must already be loaded into the model and there must be at least one measurement created. We have created a Power Pivot table to show our soon-to-be KPI, which will give us a visual for which agents have met their booking goals, are close to meeting their booking goals, or who needs help meeting their booking goals. To create a new KPI, first you need the Power Pivot contextual tab, and in the Calculations group, you'll click the drop-down for KPIs. Select New KPI, and the KPI dialog box will appear. Click the drop-down for the KPI base field value. Select the option for which you want to build the KPI around. In our case, we're going to click Count a Booking. We're going to set our defined target value area with an absolute value of 940. Next, we need to set our visuals for the KPI. We're going to set the far right marker to 940 and the left marker to 870. If you need the 870 to register because you still have other things to do, click the right marker. Click OK and you'll be ready to use your KPI for your Power Pivot Table. Ensure a cell is selected inside your Power Pivot Table and then head on over to your Field dialog box. Scroll to and open the table where your KPI lives. In our case it's going to be the Bookings area. Scroll down until you find your KPI grouping. Expand the Count of Booking KPI group. Note that two of the checkboxes are already selected. If necessary, uncheck status, then recheck it, which will refresh the actual KPI and the color codes will appear.